Hey guys, I'm Tia, this is Jordan, and our pup Zena. We're currently traveling Australia in our 1975 Volkswagen Combi, who we call Stella. This has been a project of ours for the last two years, and we've completely built our van from the ground up. You're gonna to see today some of the custom modifications that we made to make our van our home. So welcome to our tour. you is the secret drawer which slides out and becomes our kitchen. We had so many ideas in mind when designing the van but we decided to go with this layout. We're outdoors most of the time anyway and we're always chasing summer weather so we haven't had any issues having our kitchen outside. I personally love this spot especially in the mornings when making coffee in the fresh air. We love having the pull-out bench top because it really opens up the van and allows space to entertain guests. So the sliding bench here runs on a one meter heavy duty cabinet runner and we have a magnet on each side of it to hold it in place while we're traveling. We left this bit here open intentionally so that we have easy access to things like our coffee maker and our mugs. We made these little macrame holders for all of our glassware so that they don't break when we're driving too and they've been super handy. Inside the bench here is where we keep cookware, glass mugs and a few pantry staples. We actually just bought this little Omnia oven. It's a Swedish design and allows you to cook things like bread and whatever else that you'd put in the oven. So we haven't used it yet, but we're super excited to have that in the van, a little luxury. <laughs> So guys, this is our lounge room. On the road, we always wanted to park up at spots near the beach, have a space like this that we could chill and relax. And so we made this area with these two bench seats um, where we can just kick back and enjoy the van and enjoy the outdoors. Um, we made these cupboards here with a good friend of mine. Uh, we made them out of MDF, which is a uh, medium density fiberboard. Um, they handle the water really well, so if we've got any like towels and things that are wet, it doesn't matter too much. They're also lightweight and really heavy duty, so um, it's been perfect for the van build. Um, to the flooring, we've got these uh, vinyl planks. So these are just a household sort of vinyl planks that you can get from any hardware store. They clip together really easily, so it's not too much work. Um, and the underlay we've got under here is a marine ply, um, which gives us that extra bit of buffer and insulation. Over to this side, under this cupboard here is a bit of storage. It opens just like that. We have an AGM battery here, 100 amp hour, which runs our fridge. We keep supplies in here like, you know, first aid is really important. Um, extra shoes, some flippers, things we don't use every day, um, but it's great to have as much storage as possible in the van. So one feature I'd like to show you guys is our little charging station, which is secretly kept next to the benches over here. Um, it's a really basic setup that we did. Um, we basically run a four meter extension cable from the back of the van where the batteries are through an RCD switch and, and measured it all the way through to, to the front here. It's really great because it allows us to charge our things while we're driving on the road, or if we're actually sitting at the station behind me, we can also charge our laptops, etc. Um, our power situation is pretty good now. We've like recently put a 200 watt um, solar panel on the roof. This has been awesome because it, um, it generates power all during the day and it feeds into two batteries, which are both 100 amp hour. Um, we've got an inverter, which is an 800 watt Victron inverter. And the best thing I ever did was to install a smart switch, which actually Bluetooths the information that's being produced in the solar panel through to my phone. So I've got a Victron app, which I can open up and I can check the volts of the batteries. So I know that the life is really good. I can also see the yield, how much we've actually drawn in through the solar panels and how much we've used every day. So at the beginning of our travels, we had a real big issue with not enough power. 
We were constantly drawing too much and I actually killed the battery pretty early on because I didn't know how to manage our power properly. So having these upgrades was really, really important to us and especially like if you're doing a life where you're living nomadically, so you are on your laptop daily, you are getting that camera out all the time, you're going to need to charge things naturally and we wanted to be off the grid so it was super important to invest a bit more money, get the solar panel, get the gear and now we feel super confident that we could be anywhere and we could still be producing enough power so we could um, live every day comfortably. So in this corner here, we have a few not so essential van life items. So we have things like vintage vases and candle holders, which we use for some of our photos. Um, I have a little shell here, which was passed down from Jordan's grandma, which I love. And yeah, just a few other things that make us happy. When designing the van, we do spend a lot of time in here. So we wanted it to be a little bit like vibey. So we've thrown in some things that aren't really necessary, but they make us happy. So moving from the corner to our curtains here, this was a little project of mine during the build. Um, I love the way these ones turned out because they block out so much light and whenever we just need a little bit more privacy, we just take these off and pull them across. So that's super nice. So the back curtains here on the other hand are a little bit different. I love linen material and I really wanted to incorporate it into the van so I decided to make the back curtains out of linen material. Because they're white and they're very light, we're always up with the sun. Um, I recently made some window blockers, so if we ever want to sleep in or want that extra bit of privacy, we just stick them onto the windows behind the curtains and pull them across and then we have no issues. These pouches here were another little project of mine. They're also made with a linen material that I just got from a local material shop around the area. Um, what we keep in here is just things like our journals, some books, pens. I like to draw, so I have my little notepad there. Um, we always have a few doggy chew sticks in here and what else? Some of our curtain holders as well. These were actually something I found in Bali and I love them because they sat around our house for so long and they've finally come to good use in our van. Hold the curtains, it just brings a little bit of a boho vibe and they make me happy so I love them. So at the end of the bench top here is our workstation. We work whilst on the road, so I do spend a lot of time sitting here editing photos and answering emails. Um, we also love to do art, so it's great to have a space like this that we can just sit and enjoy and do our drawing or painting or whatever we feel like doing. We usually try and park up in a nice spot with an ocean view or a park to make our work atmosphere a good one. Alright, let's take a look at what's in our cupboards. So we use these lockable latches here on all the cupboards and drawers, which are super handy because they're very secure when we're driving. A few times we forgot to lock them and as we started driving they've come flying open and it's so scary every time that happens. But when we do remember to lock them, they're perfect so we love having that. In this cupboard here is my closet. So I use these travel pouches for all my clothes and I've just labeled them on here so it's super easy to see whatever I'm looking for in the drawer. We also do travel with a suitcase because we have very minimal space here in our combi and I like to have enough clothes on the road so that we don't have to go to the laundromat every few days. This cupboard actually goes all the way to the driver's seat so sometimes it can feel like cave diving to get anything out of there but it is super handy to have that little bit of extra storage where we keep things like our extra linen, um, we keep Zena's doggy gear there and a few arts and crafts things like macrame strings, paints, and all that other fun stuff. All our cutlery, cooking utensils, and spices live in this drawer here. We have some fun things like cute little spoons that we like to use. Also, we've got our milk frother for our morning coffee and some beeswax wraps, which we use to wrap our food. The final cupboard here is just our pantry, so that's where we keep all of our dry goods. You know you got some Aussies living in the van when basically all that's in the pantry at the moment is Vegemite. <laughs> Alright, so from here we're heading up to the pop top. So this pop top is one of the reasons we bought the combi in the first place. It's probably my favourite feature of the whole van. Um, it stands quite tall, so it's um, I'm 5'10", so it stands over me about 10 inches. So there's heaps of space up here. 
lets in a lot of ventilation, which is important for especially when we're sleeping. Um, so these just fold down um, and I can put them up again. The pop top is only like something that takes two or three minutes to set up or um, if we need to take off, we can just pull it down straight away and it clips on with these little clips here. Um, Tia put this cute little basket in the corner, which we keep some of our fruit and things like that. And um, to the back side here, we have storage. So when we're sleeping, we use this space up here to carry things like my guitar and some of our luggage and things like that. Super handy for when we're on the road and yeah, we're just wanting to set up quick and get things um, ready for bed. This rock and roll bench seat here pulls out and becomes a queen size bed. So most combis actually only have like three quarters of the bed size. They have a bench top that goes all the way to the back. But we had this custom build because we just wanted a little bit of extra space on those hot nights when you just don't really want to be touching each other. Um, it's a lot nicer. <laughs> Now that we've taken a look at the back of the van, let's take a look at the front where we spend a lot of our time driving. We use our seats to their full advantage. So when we pull this forward, I always have a set of clean clothes back here and pajamas, just so I can change whenever I feel like it. So something we customized ourselves was storage between the seats. Um, like we've got our cup holders here, which is really important. Sorry, Zena. Underneath here, you'll see that we've got some extra um, bench space for things that we want to have quickly on hand. Um, so things like our camera gear, electronics, um, some of tears, cosmetics as well, we keep in here. And it's really handy to have just between our seats because we do spend so much time up the front. So to the back of the combi is the engine bay. Uh, the 1975 V-Dub combi is um, a two liter. Ours is a twin carb and um, it's a stick shift. So I have a lot of fun driving it. Um, I know pretty much nothing about mechanics, but owning one of these cars means you get pretty familiar with it very quickly. Um, so we had ours fully rebuilt two years ago before we took off on the road. And um, it's been really reliable since then, which is great. Probably done over 20,000 Ks and it's, um, yeah, not missed a beat really. So I'm originally from Canada and Jordan is from Australia and we met when I was here on a working holiday visa. Um, straight away we started doing road trips um, to places around Perth and we just loved it. So van life has come really natural to us because we've kind of always done it together. So originally we didn't have in mind a particular type of van to take on the road. Tia was a little bit obsessed with combis and I thought the vibe was pretty cool. We knew nothing about them and we thought that um, we would go see Stella and maybe just have a look. But the time we rocked up, she was just too perfect not to take home. The outer shell was freshly painted, bright yellow, and we thought it was just so cool, right? Um, she had no rust as well, which is super rare for a vehicle of this age. And so being said, we decided to take her home spend the money and here we are today one major advantage to having stella was the fact that she was completely empty inside we had the canvas and the pop top attached but everything in here we were able to customize ourselves which was super fun to do like we love a lot of the details that go into making this van ours we hope you guys enjoyed our van tour we are about to travel up the east coast of Australia, so if you'd like to follow along, please check us out on YouTube or Instagram at 75vibes underscore. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make 
your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in the van conversion. So that's for water systems, for electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. And I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects to feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.